Hey everybody, welcome to the Dano channel. I am Dano and I'm back with another Star Wars The Last Jedi Force Link action figure in the 3.75 inch scale, 5 points of articulation figure. Man, today we're going to be taking a look at Resistance Tech Rose. This is a character that I'm very intrigued with. She spends a lot of time with Finn. And speaking of Finn, this is kind of a funny story. You know my whole Force Friday haul? I did that big video. A ton of people watched it. Thank you very much, by the way. I forgot to buy Finn that night. I bought dang near every other figure except for Finn. I thought I picked him up. I know I picked up the Finn Hot Wheels, but I think maybe that's what threw me off and I thought I picked up the Finn figure. I don't have Finn. But enough about Finn. Enough about Finn. Let's take a look at Rose, the Resistance Tech. All right, here's our beautiful box artwork. I like it. She looks good. There's a little kind of crystals in the background. Look at that thing in her hand. What is that? What the heck is that thing in her hand? And I think there it is right there. There's that weird little device. Interesting. Oh, that blaster looks like Finn's blaster. That's kind of cool. I like the little arabesque written on her uh, pocket sleeve there. She looks good. She looks like a good figure. I like the hair sculpt. She looks right on. There's a little Force Link action. Disney Hasbro. Do not put the blaster in your nose, babies. Don't try it. Or else Disney Hasbro is going to come put the Force Link on you. All right, there you go. How to use the Force Link with, you know, noises and whatnot. Let's do this. Let's get in to this unboxing. All right, I'm going to do the exacto. You know the drill. Amazon links. Buy the stuff. Do the thing. If you don't know how that works, check out one of my other videos. I explain it every early every single time I explain it so I'm gonna not explain it this time around just because if you're curious how it works then maybe you go check out one of the other vids and uh, there you go there we go let's pop that out let's take out my little force link instructions put the little package right there I've got big blaster she pops out just fine and then they put tape over the tiny stuff I am so glad they include these tiny little details like this little hydro spanner or whatever it is I don't know if it's even called that that's just what I think it would be called but the fact hmm interesting she's wearing a ring or she's got something funky in her hand I can't tell which is which yet um, but there's there's a lot of interesting details on this figure and we're gonna have to figure out what exact? Maybe that's where the blaster goes. I think that's where the blaster should go. Let's put this thing in this hand. Let's put the big blaster rifle in the other hand. Oh yeah, she looks like she's ready to party. Oh my goodness, she got a little hood going on. Again, another solid figure. If I was nine-year-old Dano again, playing with this thing, and this was some. First off, it's a girl figure. I know a lot of people are like, oh, it's girl figures. We don't, boys don't want to play with girl figures. Bull, bull, baloney. Yes, any figure that looks good and is a cool figure and helps, helps you play, gets your imagination going, doesn't matter. You don't even have to give her a blaster rifle as long as it's a good, cool figure that we know is like from a cool character from the movie. That's it. That's it. That's all we care about. Or at least me. This is this is awesome. Like Jurassic Park. Those are some of my oldest figures from when I was in like third grade. Ellie Sattler was one of my favorites. She was cool. She helped the story go along. So I always wish there was a little uh, Lex from Jurassic Park. There wasn't, but had there been one, I would have bought one. With my own money, by the way. So let's take a close-up look at what Paige has going on here. All right, here's Paige. Take a look. I think she looks great. There's a little arabesque on the pocket there. We're going to have to decipher what that means in just a second. And there she is. Boots look good. All the crinkles and everything. Look at that. Like the pockets got some details on it. Check that ring out on her hand. I don't know what that's all about. I don't know if it's like a weird mess up or she's got veiny hands or something in the sculpt. But she's got like weird... Her hands look like they're Snoke's hands. I don't know if that's a nice thing to say or not. But there you go. I can't tell what rank she is. But she does... She's just what? A resistance tech? So there you go. She is part of the resistance. She looks cool. I'm glad they came with this little tiny little thing that goes in her hand whatever the heck it is this little thing over here it's cool it's a nice feature that's added I wish maybe there was somewhere like a pocket we could stick it in but overall I think this is a really really cool figure guys I just took like 30 minutes to try and transcribe what that arabesh is on her pocket and I can't make it out you guys can see it right there on the screen 
That is a close-up picture. Can you decipher whatever the heck that says? What I got out of the big letters was GLD on the top part of the pocket. And supposedly that stands for Ground Logistic Division. That makes sense. She's a tech. She probably has some kind of like special division she works in. But the other parts, it's so small, I can't make out what it says. But I want you guys to try and figure that out. If you know Arabesh and can translate it better than I can, please do so. Let's get on to the Force Link. Let's give her a listen. I can fix anything. I can fix anything. You can't give up on the Resistance. Okay. We have a mission to complete. Okay. You can't give up on the Resistance. I think those are going to be the three. We have a mission to complete. Two. Bullseye. Bullseye. What'd you say? Gotcha? Blast ya? I can fix anything. Bullseye! Bullseye? Blast him! Blast him, that's what she says. Bullseye! Blast him! Bullseye! Blast him! Bullseye! She's like on a loop. Blast him! Whoa! Bullseye! You can't give up on the resistance. We have a mission to complete. You can't give up on the resistance. Okay. I think we heard pretty much everything we need to hear from Rose. That's your name, right, Rose? Guys, let me know what you think of this figure. I like her. I think she's a good addition to any of these other toys. She thinks she's kind of stands along just fine. She has a tiny little accessory, which I appreciate. She has some pretty cool lines of dialogue. But more importantly, what the heck does it say on her pocket? I need your help. I need your help. Leave it down in the comments below if you know or can figure out what that Arabesh says down there. And as always, if you like this figure, leave a thumbs up. If you like this video, leave a thumbs up. Let me know if you want to see me do more of these Last Jedi unboxings. There's not too many more left. Got a couple more big vehicles coming our way. Maybe a big giant BB-8 playset with Snoke and the other Praetorian Guard. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see how things go. But until next time, guys, you know I love you. Make sure you're subscribed. Hit that little bell so you get a notification. Part of the notification squad. Every time I drop a new video, they let you know. Otherwise, YouTube doesn't always let you know. So, that's for that. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, may the Force have with you, and goodbye forever. <laughs>